All right, so here we are back in the shop with this thing. Uh, this is where I left it last night, Monday. So uh, this is a transformation that happened to it in a week's time, but the actual working time on it was maybe, I would say maybe three days, four days uh, to go from a cab on the chassis and just the bed stuck on there to you know, basically now a driving truck. So, uh, to recap, last Monday, this was sitting outside the shop over here, and again, just a cab on the chassis with mismatched wheels and um, no front clip, no drivetrain, and parts in, in the bed of this truck and parts in the bed of my truck and just parts everywhere. So I was trying to figure out what I was going to do for the week last week, you know, spring break, my birthday week. Not that that really matters, but um, I, was, I had the seats over here behind the Jeep and just, you know, when you, when you have one apart to this level, you've got parts everywhere. So basically I was trying to consolidate all my parts into this thing, which cleans up the shop and gets this thing together. So I just went ahead and pulled the trigger and started working and and basically, you know, once I started, I couldn't stop. So I um, did the interior Monday and then started pulling the drivetrain, uh, I think it was Tuesday. Uh, pulled the drivetrain out of the 69, we got it all in here, you know, started just started assembly and... Um, and then Wednesday, I don't remember, probably just more cosmetic stuff and the working on the wiring and everything. So then uh, we went out of town Thursday, and at that time I had ordered, I didn't have a fuel pressure regulator because this has a 450 in tank and the stock regulator just can't regulate it down enough to um, the, the right pressure. So I, I ordered a regulator. I didn't have enough um, pigtails for the, this has EV6 injectors and then this had, mult, the harness had Multec connectors. So I didn't have those and uh, a couple other things. So that was preventing me from being able to start it up. Oh, and then the headers. So again, while I was on uh, our vacation, I uh, grabbed the headers um got them back from my buddy so we got home saturday i threw the headers on finished terminating the uh, pigtails for the injectors got my regulator on set the pressure and then cranked it for the first time and then i didn't have a radiator uh, the right width uh, for the electric fans so um i had a i have the the ones that had the mechanical fans, which was o four and down, the radi the radiator is actually shorter on those for some reason, and um, so anyway, my local junkyard has these fan or these radiators and the fans. I think you know, so you can get radiator and a fan for a hundred bucks. But I already had the uh, fan and the the harness. So I had integrated the harness and done everything I could do until that point. Um, so, you know, I just needed a radiator to fit in the fan. And I needed this to be mobile so I could move it around. And, you know, it's, it's just easier for me when they're, you know, I can crank it up and drive it in and out of the shop and not, you know, don't have to push it and worry about, you know, damaging myself or anything around it um so i got all that i went to the junkyard yesterday to get that radiator and asked them if they had any wheels they had these wheels and um you know how it is when you're when you need a set of wheels and you're searching marketplace they're all you know one hour two hours away and they want you know the price was all over the place and couldn't really find what i wanted and i mean these weren't what i wanted but <laughs> they were there and they the tires on them are really good shape 
I mean, they're like brand new tires and uh, they're 18s. They don't look bad. I got lug nuts and everything and they don't look bad. I mean, they're kind of, you know, more common wheel and tire package, you know, and I really didn't want that. But again, I, I was so tired of search marketplace trying to find one and then again the location being you know a couple hours away or too much money for them or something so i just went ahead and got them and and then you know what happened next as soon as i got them then they were all over marketplace for the ones i wanted you know for less than i paid for these so that's just how it goes uh but now i have a matching set of wheels and tires and uh you know just kept putting pieces together trying to get it more complete so um it was uncapped just open headers so um after i got the the wheels and tires on and got the radiator in where i could drive it and move it i went ahead and built an exhaust on it so i built a y pipe for it and then did a um it's a magna flow muffler and it's it, it sounds pretty good it's pretty quiet actually i was impressed with with how quiet it is so um but the these headers are actually off of the the denali that had the six two in it that i put a five three in and um so the if you recall the bung locations for the o2s was just you know they didn't have a car in front of them when they when they picked the location for them because there's no possible way to get the o2s in so i had to plug the holes on the headers uh, for the o2 bungs and then i've got um i got to put in a couple o2 relocate the o2 bungs to the y pipe like i did on the denali when i ran these headers <clears throat> so i can get the get the o2s in and uh this is the old style o2 so it's got the flat four wire connection on them and um, I only found one of those laying around, so <clears throat> I probably ha I'll have to get get another O2 or buy a set of O2s because I don't know if you know if that one's any good. The one I the one I found, <clears throat> but uh, it's you know it's running, it's driving truck now. Uh, it's all together. Um, I'm happy with you know with how it's come and the amount of time we've got in it so um again you know once i once i start on one i, I just like to stay on it and just you know focus on everything it needs and go ahead and get it done because i don't know i, I just don't like to to have to stop and go to something else because then it's just you know it's harder to start back on it so you know it's like this thing you start on the rust repair and then you just get burnt out on the rust repair and then you know in the time i have to do it and then you know i just then I, i've got stuff that i need to do that's you know this is just uh time consuming and and i don't like it and then and that's that's really what comes down to it like this i can do this all day long i can i mean i know these like the back of my hand I can put these things together, you know, pretty quick. So I've done them. I know them. I know where, what to do, what the bolts look like, what the wires look like. I can just strip them and put them back together. You know, that's what I do. That's what I like to do. That's what I was hoping to do with this was do, you know, the drive train in it and then do the stuff I want to do with lowering it, getting the stance look right, and then making it look good and all that. But then you know you add in all the rust and everything to it and it's just that's not what i like to do and i just you know I, and i plotted through a lot of it but you know it's just the more i fixed the more i found and i just it was just it's, it was more than i wanted to deal with so um and I, and I really need the shop space right now so and then you know like i say with this I mean, now we've got something we can work with, you know, running, driving truck, ready to go. And, um, you know, this one, I will be selling this one. I built, I bought this and built this to sell it. So, um, we'll recap the engine to remind myself and to let you know. So, it's a six liter. <clears throat> it's got, I think I put LY6 pistons in it. 
uh, you know, pull it down to a bare block, honed it, um, you know, put it together and I don't know. It's been a minute since I did it. It's got 243 heads on it. Uh, it's got, I don't remember what camshaft it has in it. It's, it's not a real big camshaft, um, you know, depending upon who's looking at the numbers, I guess. But I, I don't think it's a very big camshaft. Uh, obviously, a Trailblazer intake. It's got the flex injectors, a 450 in tank. Uh, this is a freshly built 4L65. Um, I told my buddy that, you know, this was going to be about a 400 wheel horsepower setup, you know, to build it accordingly. So I don't know what all he did to it, but, you know, he did all his tips and tricks and whatever he knows. It's got a precision Vigilante converter in it. And, uh, like I say, it's. You know, pretty basic combo in my opinion. You know, it's but you know typically what I do anyway. You know, cam six O, some headers and a converter and all, short of you know the turbo stuff. But um, you know, like I say, I think it'll be a, a fun, nice old truck and just be able to hop in and cruise around and everything. Um, I want to try to clean it the best I can because the. Uh, the crap on the doors, what do you call it? The plastics on the doors, you know, it fell off. Or this side was already off. One side was off. So I got to get the glue off and try to clean it up best I can. And um, <clears throat> just, you know, finish finish up everything on it. And then uh, once I get it, you know, where I want it, then I'll post it for sale and whatnot. But. Like I say, I just want to give an update on it, progress, you know, what we got done in a couple of days' time, and, um, you know, I'm happy with the result. So, but now I've got to move on to, uh, <laughs> to other people's stuff, so, but anyway, that's the update on this one.